Hey guys, what is up? It's uh, the Sister Spanny today with episode. I don't know actually what of Happy Wheels, but we're playing Happy Wheels again today. And I'm actually commentating over this, like a voiceover. I'm not exactly sure what my guy was doing, but apparently he just decided to hump the pole right there and then I guess get his wheel stuck on the rope. And then I tried to do a somersault sort of thing and that did not work out so I just said screw this I'm not gonna try and then right there I do like a superman flip my foot goes flying off which is highly unlikely because in a situation like that I don't think my foot would fly off I waste so much time and uh, right here trying to kill people on my first run through then I noticed that it's not really worth trying to kill people I actually kill that little kid I basically just bust his face off but really what I wanted to talk about in this video, and I do hit this whole man and probably spend about the next minute trying to kill him, uh, failing horribly until I finally found out a way to hurt him. So, basically my story for today is uh, about a story of uh, Luke and Tanner. So, I had a request from actually Luke himself to make this into a video. So, yeah, there was this hardcore party that was going on. And uh, by hardcore party, I basically just mean a birthday party. But anyways, Luke and Tanner went in a box. Well, we were all kind of boxing. We all had boxing gloves. And we kind of just were messing around. And Tanner and Luke just went in a box. So I said, okay. Uh, there was this other kid named Noah is there, there, is there as well. He um He kept on running when we tried to box with him. He wasn't the best spot. He wasn't the best boxer. He kind of just like run away when you're trying to punch him. But it wasn't really that fun to play with him. Anyways, so uh, not play with him, but to fight, I guess, with him. Anyways, but then uh, Luke and Sander just and this is just completely wrong. I just cut off his head and his uh, girlfriend or wife, whatever, over there, right there. That guy, I I I can't make an error pointing at that lady right there, but. She is feeling horrible. She just saw her husband head get cut off. And there's a guy bleeding out from his leg right there. And then this guy gets just hit in the back. Probably paralyzed by the just the damage I've done to his spinal cord. And uh, anyways, let's get back to the story. And they were just like taking cheap shots at each other. I think at one point Luke just like slapped him across the face. I'm not really sure how the hell that happened but it was like a a backhand let's just say it was a backhand then there's uh, also this battering ram and this guy is like not bleeding but he has a spear through his I don't even know um and apparently they hey, ride zebras and jousts now I'm not uh, I wasn't aware of that but you know that's okay and then I go over here and I fell incredibly because I land here and I was originally gonna eject but I thought maybe I was supposed to do something different so then I get stuck right here and I end up having to reel the whole level which kinda sucks but anyways that's the besides the point and they were just taking cheap shots at each other so then Tanner just like goes for a nut shot and I'm like hey no below the belt basically the rules were no below the belt and face shots were allowed but not like don't like just bust the skull open and then right here, I just get really mad because I keep on failing. And, uh, you know, right there, I just rage quit. I'm just like, wow. Like, I didn't even wait for my guy to even see if he could get up. And then I noticed that basically if you jump onto there, you are 100% going to get killed. I, you cannot stop it. It's, like, inevitable. It's like putting a firework in someone's mouth and saying, hey, it's not going to explode. But it is going to explode. But anyways... Yeah, so that's one. Um, and they were basically just taking freaking cheap shots at each other like the whole time. And then Luke just like goes for the uh, ball tap and uh, kind of just takes him down, I guess. Um, and then Tanner gets back up and just kicks him, like just like a kick to the knee. I'm not really sure if it was to the knee. I'm not really sure about all these details, but uh, around something like that. And that guy let me just tell you is extremely flexible and has the best human bones I've ever uh, encountered because I just basically slammed 
his face with a, a segue cinder blocks fell on him and he's still not even phased he's up anyways so that's pretty much it for the boxing story there's really not, not much to talk about in that sort of subject and I want to get into um, maybe why I wasn't making videos for a while hopefully tonight I plan on making a bunch of the minecraft let's play series I only did one episode so far but I hope to make a lot of them I'm not gonna upload any tonight obviously because this video is going up but I'm going to upload indeed I, I thought I was gonna fail right there and I was just gonna be so mad because this video would just be so long and then I do end up like almost failing here but then thank god uh, Mr. Like Segway Man pulls through with like that awesome split, and uh, I steal this guy's horse because I'm awesome, and I just stab this guy in the face, like a boom, and that's pretty much the end of that level. But um, like I I don't I mentioned this in some other videos, but um, it's because of my track. I basically have track every single day after school, and I probably get home around six usually each day, and then usually after that um. I'm either really tired or I go outside and you know making a video takes probably an hour to an hour and a half to get it uploaded and everything so I really don't make that much vi many videos in a week so hopefully I can get most of my uh, videos recorded like on the weekends like Friday Saturday and Sunday um, make three videos each day but also make extra videos like maybe each day I make two extra videos because then I could have you know if I make two videos Friday, two videos Saturday, and two videos Sunday, I could have six videos plus the three for the weekend, and then I could have like basically videos every single day. The only problem with that would be that it wouldn't be recent. Um, like say that I'm doing a a video on one game and it already got updated or something, then it won't be as interesting. This one just was really annoying me. This map right here, I'm pretty sure they pretty much made this impossible. And I'm not actually entirely sure why they even made this map. It looks pretty horrible by the looks of it. Uh, they probably just sat down and said, hey, let's make impossible map. And uh, that's <coughs> exactly what they did. So then I'm hanging on for dear life, and I finally get a hang of it. And then my arms just pop off. I don't even know how that is possible, but it happened. So my arms are just flailing out of control. They pop off, and then I give up on the map because it's physically impossible. Now, this map is a little bit of a trickster. Now, I grab on here and I just kind of let go, and boom, I just get demolished by these spikes. But, um, a little bit later in the video, I actually noticed that this is not the way that you can do it, and it's literally impossible. You cannot do it the way I'm trying to do it. And then, as you can see, I make a desperate grab for the wall there, missing and falling to my death. Now, how I how I found out about this um, awesome little actually how you beat the level is when I fell right here, I saw that there was an opening that I almost went down, except I missed it narrowly. <laughs> right there, I missed it, so I'm gonna go for it. Um, going for gold here, but I obviously missed it by a lot because I'm horrible at this game, and. And then, um, I basically take a fall and a spike goes straight, straight through my head, despite the helmet. Didn't seem to help Segway Man at all, and then I grab on. That didn't really help either because it went right into a spinal cord. And I finally actually beat the level, although I lose both of my arms and basically just sever my body into two pieces. It's still one, so to win for me and I tried to see this if it was even possible to complete the level in that way and actually, actually is impossible so the guy who made that map is completely stupid and then I try to play this rainbow map but it was horribly made because I didn't even make it and then I kinda just slid to the end of the map and somehow I made it and these bombs didn't even blow up like it was so horribly made they didn't even make the bombs they didn't even take the time to make the bombs blow up at the end and then yeah and I tried to find a level that had something to do with throwing but then I went to play this zombie game and it's pretty much self explanatory what's about to happen 
don't let the zombies get into the black hole but I'm not sure what this guy was thinking when he was made making this level because the old man is suffering from extreme gravitational pull and for some reason every five seconds he just dies and he cannot save the world from the zombies so I'm gonna try to kill this uh these zombies again here and you can't even like control the crossbow apparently like if the zombies get in like the proximity of that black hole you die it doesn't even matter like at all if they're five feet away and these people don't look like zombies at all they're actually just real people and I'm just killing them but that's it for this video and you guys can just watch me kill these people that are supposed to be zombies